Sustainability Trends for 2022. What will be the new thing in the next year? I created this Futurology video to put my two cents on the following sustainable design trends for the next year. Yes, we won't advance 10 years in the future or anything like that, just one year. But before starting this, subscribe to the channel because by doing this, you make this big YouTube algorithm and think hey sustainability matters for people let's share more content like this because people are enjoying and they we can make the world a better place so let's go One of the biggest trends I believe will be more significant in 2022 is sustainable product awareness. Why? The green movement is in the midst of a youth revolution. Millennials, my generation, are driving change, but they are not exactly setting trends. It's the Generation Z, yeah, maybe you who are behind this monitor, who will shape tomorrow's world with your personal purchases and attitudes about sustainability. Yes, the children born between 1997 and 2003 are more aware than any other generation past or present has been. 54% believe environmental efforts are critical when considering whether to purchase something from one company over another. And 63% want brands that show concern for both people at home or a 68% says businesses should provide better guidelines so consumers can make informed choices. So this will continue impacting all sectors of the economy, not just on the construction sector, a thing that we already talked about in many videos, but other sectors also. And I want to show you these examples. Good examples are in the fashion and food industries. So let's talk about fashion for many of us fashion is a way to express yourself and make others think that you are cool or something but the clothes on our backs comes at a cost destructive production processes that affect the environment our health and people in its production process as demand increases for sustainable clothing brands with the socially conscious manufacturing practices 38 percent of consumers would switch from the preferred brand when they find out these qualities within another company's offerings. So this means sustainability will soon become essential if you want your brand out there. Now let's talk about food. Global food production is currently responsible for 26% of greenhouse gases threatening freshwater consumption. It has been found that consumers are more aware than ever before, thanks partly to the growth of veganism. They are looking for plant-based meat alternatives, which have risen 140% during pandemics. Unilever expects its sales from non-animal sourced products such as these will reach almost 1 billion within five to seven years. So people want healthier options when eating out or cooking at home. Okay, another big trend for 2022 will be ESG investments. They are environmental, social, and governance investments. ESG measures how well corporations care for their social and ecological impacts. This includes intangible assets such as sustainability, which are becoming an increasingly significant component in future enterprise value creation due to research showing that they are crucial for success of these companies. In recent years, that has been an increased focus on ESG related to evaluating corporate conduct, including factors like pollution levels and those not immediately measurable, such as employee happiness at work. So investing for the future in an area of pandemic requires us 
also think outside the traditional investing parameters. Aren't you glad that this trend is now? BlackRock, one of the most significant investment companies globally, has made sustainability at its heart when making decisions. They will carefully choose which companies or funds they will invest their money in. In addition, almost every big company is making definitive steps towards sustainability. So yes, we will hear a lot about ESG in 2022. The third big trend for 2022, clean air will become even more critical. Yes, the World Health Organization says air pollution is the most considerable environmental risk to health and causes 7 billion deaths annually. This number is mainly due to exposure inside homes. People spend 90% of their time indoors, maybe more with the pandemic right now. So this will be very important for building design professionals as essential for any type of project since hospitals, schools, or offices. There are several pollution sources inside a building. Example, our wall and floor coverings, furniture and appliances, which can aggregate dust, damp or mold. We also have emissions from office equipment and machinery. And of course, occupants who breathe CO2 and spread colds and viruses. Through the selection of appropriate equipment, however, indoor air quality can be managed and controlled. And this is very important because ventilation usually needs to be reduced to increase the energy efficiency of buildings. But unfortunately, poor indoor air quality can hit building owners' bottom line through costly remedial costs and higher running costs. And that's why specialists such as mechanical engineers are so important in this field right now. The fourth trend for 2022, work from home is here to stay. The work from home lifestyle is one of the most unconventional sustainability trends. Still, it turns out that working remotely actually has some surprising benefits. For example, working for your couch means that you can reduce car use and energy consumption in office buildings. Not only does this help combat global warming in your current climate crisis, but it also helps protect our planet for future generations. In addition, significant companies like Twitter have already committed to their staff even when lockdowns lift because they know how important sustainable practices are or they want to show this to people and these are good news and tell me in the comment section below if you think the same as me okay I will tell my opinion here. In my opinion, it's incredible that how many people now understand how to turn on virtual meeting software like Zoom. They don't demand real life meetings anymore. I think we all know how great it is to have quick sessions of one hour instead of three hours going to a meeting. Before, we needed to waste fossil fuels to go there and back, and there are a lot of savings with home offices, and it will keep it in the next year. Of course, some companies will return to the current work, but others will stay as home offices, partially or totally. And the fifth and latest trend for 2022 is that companies will suffer from the lack of climate action. Last year, poor social and environmental performance caused the CEO of one of the world's largest mining companies to resign. Unfortunately, it's still happening, such as, for example, Activision Blizzard, who have terrible claims everywhere. Also, three chemical giants plummeted in stock prices as they faced public scrutiny from their emissions offset programs they didn't live up to expectations. I won't tell the names because I don't want to be killed. This shows how serious climate actions has become among many people around this planet. We can't afford any more inaction. People demand responsibility every everywhere and it won't be different in the sustainability field. These stakes will only get higher when it comes time for corporations like this to make changes or 
risk having even more significant consequences on future generations. Because if we are working towards our own safety and health, of course, companies need to do their work as well. So now I want to know your opinion. What will be the most significant sustainability trend for 2022? Please comment below and I will love to reinteract. And if you enjoyed the video, like it and subscribe to our channel to keep receiving great content about sustainability. See ya! And if you have an interest in the world of sustainability and green buildings, consider joining the Green Hero community. In there, you will get access to more than 50 classes, including the Lead Green Associate Preparation Exam classes, the Green Roof and Green Wall classes, the Sustainable Materials 101 course, and much more to come. The link is in this video description.